Morning, ladies and gentlemen. So today, just a quick video uh, to go over part B of the 2020 sample exam problem. So uh, every month I meet up with a group of AP stats teachers and we sort of discuss, well, AP stats. And I brought this question to their attention yesterday and we discussed and I think we uh, agree, we've come to the agreement that uh, for part B, we cannot use the normal model to solve, right? The thing is, we don't have any information that these two samples are nearly normal and thus we don't necessarily have them we, we don't have any information that allows us to model these two samples using the normal distribution um, yes you can compare the mean and the median and see that they're close to one another relatively close to one another um, which implies symmetry of these uh, samples but that does not necessarily imply normalcy all right there's a difference between a symmetric distribution and a normal distribution. They're not, not all symmetric distributions are normal is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, I mean, it's, it's nice that you did pick up on the fact that the mean and the median are fairly similar for both of these samples. Um, and therefore uh, we do have symmetric samples, but again, that does not necessarily mean normal. Um, again, if, and, and if you read part B carefully, um, yesterday in, in the video, I, I pointed out that the units were bushels per acre, which seems to imply an average. However, what I failed to connect is that the units that they're using, that, that we're looking at right here in this table, are in bushels per acre. So um, the fact that they've already, that we're given units in bushels per acre, um, means that each individual plot is already in the units of bushels per acre. So we're not talking about an average. And furthermore, uh, you can see that we're, we're looking to answer this question of obtaining a yield of 123 or more bushels per acre from a plot. So that is one single plot. So we're not choosing a sample. We're choosing from these two samples. Um, and therefore, we can't use like the central limit theorem or anything like that uh, for this particular part of the problem because we're not dealing with the sampling distribution. We're simply diving in to this sample here, and we're going to randomly select one plot, and then we're going to dive in to this sample here. We're going to randomly select one plot, and the question is, um, which one is more likely to produce a yield of 123 or more. So I wanna point out the, I think the most efficient way of solving this problem is to use the median. I did bring this solution up in yesterday's video. I just wanna reiterate and maybe go into a little bit more detail about how you, um, how you might express your argument. So, Notice that the median of genetically modified is 127.5 bushels per acre, whereas for regular, um, 119.4 bushels per acre. What that implies is that for, let's start out with genetically modified. Since the median is 127.5 bushels per acre, um, that means 50% of plot yields are 125 bushels per acre or more, all right? That furthermore implies that at least half of the plots are 123 bushels per acre for more, right? So if we know that 50%, exactly 50% are 127.5 or more, then that tells us that at least 50% so, or which means probably more than 50% are 123 bushels per acre or more. And that's what we're interested in. And so 
if we just look at like a number line of the genetically modified data, this is where our median lies. And that means we have our top 50% at 128 and above, which means if we move this vertical marker any lower, then we have more than 50%, right? And let's say 123 is down here. So let's move our vertical marker to 123. So if we take into account all the values that are 123 and above, we are more than 50% of plots. Okay. In other words, if we just dive in, we can see quickly that there's at least a, there's more than a 50% chance of getting a crop yield of 123 bushels per acre from the genetically modified uh, sections. On the other hand, the median of the regular, oh, cool. uh, the median of the regular corn is 119.4 bushels per acre. And that means 50% of the yields are 119.4 bushels per acre or less which then goes on to imply that fewer than half of the plots are 123 bushels per acre or more. So in other words, if we were to look at a list of data from the regular plots, our median is right around here, just in between like 119 and 120. Okay, and we know that 50% of the data is below that. All right, well, let's move now our marker to around 123, and let's say it's somewhere around here. And what we're interested in is 123 or more. Well, this must be less than 50% of all possible outcomes. So again, doing some quick math, uh, there is less than a 50% chance of obtaining a plot yield from the regular corn that is uh, 123 bushels per acre or more. Okay, so some sort of argument centered around the median um, would really be the most efficient way of making this claim. All right, I just wanted to do this video just so we understand that a normal model is definitely not appropriate in this particular case. All right, we can't just go ahead and use the normal model um, just because it feels right and just because we're calculating a probability. We need to be given specific information uh, in order to do so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hope this cleared some things up and have a nice day.